Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Now, a lot of you may be asking this morning, why is Joe not wearing something Lynchburg Hornets related? I have a very good reason for wearing a Dear World shirt with you today, and you can find out the answers tonight. That's right. Inside Turner Gymnasium tonight, the Dear World hashtag Dear Lynchburg event will take place from 8 to 9 p.m. celebrating the stories of students, faculty, and staff with the Dear World group, which is a live storytelling show uh, that they will put on for you tonight, followed by a photo shoot after 9 o'clock. There'll be refreshments as well as your opportunity to tell people your message through these iconic photo shoots inside the gym. Speaking of those icons that have had the opportunity to do this, Dell had the chance to do it last week and did a masterful job putting hashtag one nation on their forearm and i had an opportunity as well to do the same thing as you can see right here on your screen a lot of other folks in the athletic department and all over campus did as well we will share that link out with you today also all right let's move on to our throwback thursday for this week and this week we are going to throw back to last friday when myself along with b kelly russo of women's soccer went to go rock the bald with saint baldrick's Such a fun time and certainly the least that we can do to support those that are battling childhood cancer. All right, let's move on to the upcoming games this weekend. Of course, the men's soccer team hosting the first and second round of the Division III Men's Soccer Championship Tournament this weekend, and they'll take on Penn State Abington first. It's a rematch of a game earlier this year that was held at Roanoke College and was a 4-0 win for Lynchburg. And then the Women's soccer team of Lynchburg College will head to the field and take on the Green Terror of McDaniel at 7.30 p.m. The winner of that facing the winner of the first game at 7 o'clock on Sunday. All right, let's move on to campus events. First and foremost, the weekly sting is tonight at 7 p.m. at lynchburgsports.com and on our Facebook page. Four guests this week, and of course, all from the soccer world. Amani Jones and Emily Maxwell, two seniors for the ladies, will be on the show, as well as Ryan Mayolo and Ryan Pecunis. So the Ryan Times 2 will be on the show tonight at 7 p.m. As far as campus events are concerned, there is a Madden tournament. Madden is the video game, for those of you that may not know. 6 to 9 p.m. tonight, come and show off your skills. You can still sign up at the Hub, and it will be taking place at Pete's Place inside Drysdale Student Center. Also, the LCDW Fall Demo Night is tonight from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Experience an exploration in different types of dances as the dance work team performs their original pieces. Dance Works did a tremendous job at Midnight Madness. They've been practicing so much the last couple days. I'm sure it'll be a great event put on by them. Well, as we do on the Daily Buzz, we try to tell you what the National Day is on the National Day calendar, but sometimes it's really really hard. So we have to resort to national stuff in the month. And we are going to do that today with National Gratitude Month. Now, nothing real fancy about this because at its core, gratitude is very, very simple. Just show someone your gratitude towards whatever they have done for you or what they do on a daily basis. Just letting somebody know that they're doing something right. And that will certainly help them through that day and maybe for others as well. So the moral of it being just be nice and not just in November. Be nice all the time, right? Let's do that. 
All right, folks, we hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. We're gearing up for a wonderful weekend. You can follow it all at lynchburgsports.com. Remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are One Nation.